it was one of the most amazing experiences of my life. I often call it uh, my defining moment because I started the Boston Marathon as a girl and I finished the Boston Marathon as a grown woman. my front, I had my big bib 261, and all the men around me were saying, I wish my wife would run. I wish my girlfriend would run. The three kilometers in the race, the press truck came by us um, on a big truck with um, photographers all in the back shooting their cameras backwards. Then they slowed down right in front of us because they suddenly said, there's a girl, there's a girl. And he just lost his temper, um, and, and and he was he was you know an exhausted race director, but he also was a man who had a very short fuse, and he jumped off the bus, and he was had his teeth bared, and he was screamed at me, get the hell out of my race, and give me those numbers, and the press were on their feet grinding the cameras away, and my boyfriend who was alongside, he threw a shoulder charge into the official, and he sent the official flying through the air. And my coach, Arnie, said, run like hell. And I was crying, and I was so upset and so embarrassed and and really terrified. I really was terrified. But then I knew if I dropped out and stepped off the course, I just knew that everybody would say, see, Women are always going into places where they're not welcome and they can't do it anyway. So I knew I had to finish the race. And I knew I could do it because I had run 50 kilometers already in practice just a week before. So I I remember turning to my coach and I said, you know, I'm getting you in trouble, I guess, but I'm going to have to finish this race. I said, in fact, I'm going to finish this race on my hands and my knees if I have to. Because if I don't finish this race, Arnie, nobody's going to believe a woman can do it. A funny thing happened as we went through the many, many miles. The reactions of the public were mixed. One man shouted at me, you should be home making dinner for your husband. And yet another, a woman, was standing alongside. And she dropped to her knees and she said, come on, honey, come on, run, do it for all of us. And I laughed and I waved to her and I said, I will. And then I realized that other women really should be in this race. They deserved to be there, but they were afraid. They had been afraid all their lives. You know, they never had parents who encouraged them like I did or a team who helped them or were bold and would run a mile a day. And I wanted to show them how wonderful this could be and how easy and cheap and accessible it could be for them. When I finished the race, I was determined to do two things. One, I wanted to become a better athlete, to prove people wrong, that I could be a really good athlete. Um, And the second thing is, is I wanted to create those opportunities for women. So you can imagine how angry I was. And and, um, I said, okay, uh, kick me out. I don't care. I'll form my own club. Running was not political for me at first when I when I first started the Boston Marathon, but certainly when the official attacked me, it became political. Suddenly, the bib number of 261 that I wore in the Boston Marathon became a number, a magic number, meaning fearless in the face of adversity. And people were inking it on their arms and even getting tattoos with their 261. And they would always say, this number makes me feel fearless. Uh, In 2017, at the age of 70, 
I could run the Boston Marathon again. And I was the first woman to ever run a marathon 50 years after she first ran one. Imagine how you felt being the only girl in the Boston Marathon wearing a bib number in 1967. And then 50 years later, you're in a race wearing the same bib number, 261, but you are surrounded by 13,500 women, all of whom have qualified and are running the Boston Marathon with you. It was an amazing feeling. For my whole life, I will be determined to create those opportunities for women and girls because every single female deserves the opportunity to try to put one foot in front of the other and find her destiny.